and, and clearly they didn't go extinct for no reason. Just as fast and dramatically as the Earth went cold, the Earth goes warm. There's a huge mystery here which scholars are not addressing and it cannot be ascribed to coincidence. Imagine stumbling upon a perfectly preserved ancient casket deep within a Siberian coal seam, dating back over 100 million years, a time when humans shouldn't have existed. Inside lies the Tisul princess, her body immaculately preserved, shrouded in mystery and advanced technology that defies our understanding of history. Was this enigmatic figure a deliberate placement by an advanced civilization, a seed left to intrigue or warn future generations? Or perhaps she is the last remnant of an alien species, her existence on Earth a lingering testament to interstellar visitations long forgotten. Join us as we delve into the mysterious tale of the Tisul Princess, where every discovery leads to more questions than answers, challenging everything we thought we knew about our past. In the heart of Siberia, the quiet Tisul area became the setting of a captivating legend in 1969, when miners, digging through a coal seam, made an astonishing discovery. A large casket that looked like marble but shone with the reflective qualities of metal. What made this find extraordinary was its location within a coal seam dating back to the Carboniferous period, approximately 300 to 360 million years ago. This timeline posed a significant challenge to our understanding of human history, as it suggested the presence of advanced material technology long before humans were thought to exist. The casket's composition and the perfection with which it was sealed indicated an advanced knowledge of engineering, far beyond what was known from any ancient civilization at that time. Following the discovery, the response was swift and secretive. The Soviet military quickly secured the site, removing all evidence and allegedly imposing strict secrecy on those who had witnessed the find. This led to an aura of conspiracy and cover-up, fueling endless speculations and theories among the theories, one particularly intriguing idea is that the casket might have been a time capsule left by an advanced ancient civilization, possibly even from a pre-human era. Proponents of this theory argue that such a civilization could have existed on Earth, possessing the capability to create time-resistant artifacts intended for future discovery. An interesting comparison to this mysterious story is the Antikythera mechanism, a real and verified ancient artifact discovered off the coast of Greece in 1901. This ancient Greek analog computer, which was used to predict astronomical positions and eclipses, dates back to around 100 BC. It showcases a level of technological sophistication seemingly incongruous with other known tools of its time, much like the casket from Tisul. Both discoveries challenge our understanding of historical technological capabilities and prompt a re-evaluation of historical timelines and technological progression. While the Antikythera mechanism has been thoroughly studied and remains a subject of scientific inquiry, the story of the Tisul princess continues to dwell in the realm of myth and speculation. The fascination with both artifacts illustrates our perennial curiosity about the past and the potential for lost knowledge or civilizations yet to be fully understood. In the intriguing tale of the Tisul princess, every detail, from the casket to the preservation fluid to the princess herself, is woven with threads of mystery and echoes of a technologically advanced civilization. The story is carefully designed to stir images of anachronism and enigma, painting the picture of a society far more advanced than anything documented in our known history. The casket, said to resemble highly polished metal or stone, is described as being adorned with intricate carvings and decorations. Some accounts suggest these markings could depict celestial configurations or mysterious symbols, hinting at a profound understanding of astronomy or perhaps conveying messages in a lost language. The seal of the casket, made from an unusual pink or blue metal, adds to the intrigue. This choice of colors is not typical in any known historical metallurgy and is likely a fictional element intended to deepen the mystique of the tale. It's said that this seal hermetically closed the casket, perfectly preserving its contents from the ravages of time. Inside the casket, a clear liquid with exceptional preservative qualities encapsulated the body of the princess, keeping it in such a pristine condition that she appeared as if she had only recently passed away. 
The nature of this fluid seems more akin to modern embalming techniques, which utilize formaldehyde rather than any methods known from ancient times, which would typically involve drying and treating the body with oils and resins. The princess herself was described as strikingly beautiful, with fine features, dressed in a sheer white dress that lent her an ethereal quality. Her eyes were open, which gave her a lifelike, almost haunting presence as though she might awaken at any moment. In some versions of the story, she is said to hold an object, often a metal box or a piece of jewelry, shrouded in its own layer of mystery, and speculated to be a device or amulet of significant cultural or technological importance. Drawing an interesting parallel, the story of the Tissel Princess can be compared to the real archaeological discovery of the Sleeping Beauty of Lulan, found in 1980 in the Tarim Basin in China. This woman, who lived around 3,800 years ago, was also remarkably preserved, her body mummified by the arid desert conditions. Found with her eyes closed in peaceful slumber, wearing a hat and woolen clothing, she suggested a high status. This preservation offers a stark contrast to the fantastical elements of the Tisul princess, providing genuine insights into the life and environment of the people in her community and illustrating natural mummification processes. The legend of the Tisul princess, while devoid of empirical evidence, ignites our curiosity about the past, blending elements of history, myth and mystery to craft a narrative that is as enthralling as it is provocative. It serves as a reminder of how stories rooted in fact or fiction have the power to spark our imagination and invite us to ponder the possibilities of what might have been in the vast, unrecorded expanses of human history. The alleged discovery of the Tisul princess in Siberia is shrouded in mystery and intrigue, encapsulating the Cold War era's characteristic secrecy and control. When miners reportedly unearthed a casket containing the princess, the Soviet military acted swiftly to manage the situation, a response typical in tales where discoveries might shift public understanding of history or science. The area was immediately cordoned off to prevent any leaks that could stir public unrest or attract international scrutiny. Further, the miners and local witnesses were purportedly coerced into signing non-disclosure agreements or were otherwise sworn to secrecy, often under threats of severe consequences. This reflects the authoritarian nature of the Soviet regime at the time, which would go to great lengths to control information. The narrative suggests that the body and the casket were quickly airlifted to an undisclosed location under strict security measures, emphasizing the potential significance of the find. Moreover, it said that the area remained under surveillance and that those who witnessed the events were continuously monitored by the KGB, ensuring that no details of the incident were leaked. This legend has given rise to a myriad of speculative theories that challenge conventional historical timelines. Some believe the sophisticated burial and artifacts suggest the existence of an advanced ancient civilization millions of years before our current understanding of history. Others entertain the possibility of alien intervention, hypothesizing that the casket and its contents might not be of earthly origin. The materials and technology described in the legend are cited as evidence that supports this theory, suggesting capabilities beyond our current technological reach. Another fascinating speculation is the idea of time travel, where the Tissel princess might have been a traveler from the future, accidentally caught in the past. Her preservation in a state-of-the-art casket could indicate technologies not yet realized in our present timeline. The notion of a chronological anomaly or a time slip, where objects or individuals from one era appear in another through unexplained phenomena, also emerges as a compelling theory. This could potentially explain the presence of advanced materials and preservation techniques in a coal seam that dates back millions of years. In terms of mysterious findings and the secrecy that often follows, the story of the Tissel Princess draws parallels with the legend of the Dropper Stones. These stone discs, discovered in the 1930s in China, were reportedly inscribed with tiny hieroglyphs and found in caves inhabited by a tribe known as the Dropper. Much like the Tissel Princess, the authenticity of the dropper stones and their tales of alien visitors or ancient civilizations has been a subject of dispute but continues to captivate those fascinated by theories of ancient astronauts and UFO enthusiasts. These stories, while often lacking empirical evidence, ignite our imagination and provoke ongoing debate about the mysteries of our past.